The colors of stars depend on their temperatures. A blue star is much hotter than a red star. So the concept of red hot versus ice blue is kind of pointless here. If these shoes were stars, the blue shoe would have a much higher temperature. In order to understand why we see stars in the colors we do, we need to realize that those colors are dependent on how our eyes perceive color. Perception of color is unique to each individual. No two people will perceive colors in the same exact way, since each person's eyes are unique to them. It all depends on the structure of our eyes and how our eyes communicate information about our surroundings to our brains. Our eyes are incredibly complex parts of our bodies. The incoming light is bent through the lens of the eye as it travels to the retina at the back of the eyeball. The retina is a thin, light-sensitive lining that contains all the photoreceptor cells that register the light that comes into the eye. There are two types of photoreceptor cells, rods and cones. The cones function best in bright light and are the ones responsible for our color vision. Cone cells only come in blue-sensitive, red-sensitive, and green-sensitive varieties, meaning that all the colors we have ever seen and will see are combinations of red, green, and blue light. Since you and I probably don't have identical cone cells, chances are we'll both see the colors green, purple, orange, cyan, magenta, all differently. So it's safe to say that what you see here in this picture is slightly different from what I or anyone else would see. The rods are more sensitive to dim light, which explains why we usually don't see much color in dark places, since the cones are not activated in low light conditions. We already know the colors of stars we most often see are blue, white, and red. The reason we see stars in these specific colors is because of where their peak wavelengths land in the visible range of light. In the case of the 4500 Kelvin star, its peak is in the reddish-orange portion of the visible spectrum, so it'll be a reddish-orange star. The 7500 Kelvin star, with the tallest black body curve, peaks in the blue range of the visible spectrum, so it'll be a blue star. But what about this one? It peaks in the green. But is it a green star? Are there any green stars? Or purple stars for that matter? Do they even exist? And if they do, why haven't we seen them yet? The thing is, they do exist. This is the black body curve of a green star. But we'll never actually see them. In order for us to see a green star, we need to see only the green light. But this is physically impossible for a black body since the black body curve increases in intensity across all wavelengths if the peak wavelength decreases. So if we look at a black body curve from a potentially green star, which can be identified as such by the location of the peak wavelength, we'll actually see almost equal amounts of red and blue with the green. And as it turns out, in terms of light, the primary colors are red, blue, and green, not yellow like we know it to be in the world of art. And what happens when we have equal amounts of blue, green, and red light combined together? We see white. So those green stars will appear white. Now, what if we wanted to see purple stars? We know that they exist too. Their black body curves would look like this with the peak wavelength and the violet portion of the visible range. But since our eyes can only perceive purple when there are equal amounts of red and blue light, we would only see purple stars if their black body curves had equal amounts of red and blue. But we know that this type of spectrum is impossible for a black body, because if it has almost equal amounts of both blue and red, then it's probably peaking in the green. And that, of course, would be the black body curve of a green star. A green star that actually looks white. So a star that peaks in the violet is emitting just as much blue light, which means that those purple stars are actually perceived as blue. We began this video with the statement that the colors of the stars depend on their temperatures. These are the temperatures associated with the stars of the stated colors. The conventional color dictates the color of the star as according to Wien's law, meaning the peak wavelength of the star's spectrum determines the color of the star. But the apparent color is what we actually see. And what we see depends on our eyes.